Means Woodshop merch is now available. Check the link down in the description. Hey, I'm Caleb with Means Woodshop, and welcome to another edition of The Means Minis, the series where I show you how to make small, easy projects very quickly. Today, we're going to be making this oven rack shelf. It's pretty cool, and I made these out of reclaimed bed slats, so let's check it out. For this oven rack shelf, I'm using this very interesting piece of pine. You can see it's very dark, darker than you would normally see pine. What's really cool about this pine is it's actually like over a hundred years old. So I'm making this project for Jennifer's mom. She salvaged these pine bed slats from a house that had been in their family for several generations. These boards are way older than I am. They've been in the family a long time and they've just kind of been sitting around. She thought it would be nice to expand their life a little bit longer, still keep them in the family, and make something useful out of them. I'm going to cut this out to 32 and a half inches. Now, if you want to make this project, keep in mind that your oven may be different, so you'll probably have to take your own measurements. I'm gonna make the legs or the sides of the shelf 11 inches long. I know that seems a little tall, but that's the measurement I got to get it to sit above the top of the oven. And I did take my measurements to give a little bit of wiggle room because you'd rather have some extra space or some gaps than to go ahead and build this whole thing and it just not fit. In order to attach the legs to the top of the shelf, I'm going to do that with pocket holes. finish this project with some wipe-on poly. And just a pro tip, the best applicating device for wipe-on poly is a pair of your mom's old socks that she doesn't want anymore. Got the camera all up close to the wood because I've used this really old pine before. You might recognize it from when I made a spice rack and it finishes really nice. So check it. Check it. stuck in my head for like a week. Oh, I didn't include it in the video, but I'd probably get a copyright strike. And when you're trying to get monetized on YouTube, you don't want that. You can see it's a bit taller, but isn't for mine. So it's only here temporarily, and it is measured to the dimensions of that particular oven. It's a pretty cool project, and it looks nice in a kitchen, and I actually, actually might have to go make one one myself. If you like this video and enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. They say that helps with the YouTube algorithm. Tells YouTube that uh, people want to watch this. You subscribe to this channel because aside from these means minis, I have new woodworking projects that come out every Friday and a follow-up on those projects every Wednesday. So you should click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. <laughs>